boy it is bright <laughs> it is bright out here today where I am in beautiful sunny south coast New South Wales and Monday greetings to you I'm wondering if you can hear me okay I'm hoping that you can hear me okay I probably should have thought about that before I jumped on live today but you know what I'm a human <laughs> just like you're a human right are we not just all humans trying to figure don't you reckon I think there's such a huge expectation on us to have it all figured out like I'm 30 I have to think about that I'll be 37 next month and uh, the pressure to have everything figured out is just nonsense to me as far as I'm concerned I gotta say like life is a complex crazy maze of change and and creation all happening at the same time how are we meant to have it all figured out like be better you might be able to hear me a bit better now if you can can you send me a thumbs up or something send me a thumbs up or a heart if you're watching and you can hear me a bit better now i think my mic is on the other side but why do we have to have life all figured out because if you have life all figured out then there's nothing left 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 to explore there's nothing left to discover quite a ponderous thing <laughs> monday greetings to you i'm a little bit late on the uptake i uh had a delightful sleep in this morning most of the day so I'm yet to uh, make it to to the shoreline which is where I am sitting right now I know pretty bloody blessed right for those of you who can watch this for those of you who can't and you're listening on the podcast I'm sitting on a beautiful beach I'm wearing my swimmers and uh, my hair's wet because I just went for a dunk and it was super cold it was a super cold dunking so I'm learning Spanish at the moment and uh, what I love about me coming live to you on a Monday is that uh, you know it's Monday greetings it's Monday Monday musings to you and my name is Luna and did you know that in Spanish Monday is lunes l-u-n-e-s lunes so Monday is almost my day my jam Luna lunes anyway that's a bit of an aside I want to, um, you know, have a have a yarn today about about self expression being dangerous, because you know I think that so, for so many of us we want to be able to express ourselves. We want to be able to dress the way we want to dress. We want to be able to wear the clothes that we want to wear. We want to be able to speak our truths and speak our minds and 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 live from a place of the heart. But what I really want to highlight to you is that in this society, in this world, it's considered dangerous, wholeheartedly dangerous. Because to think for yourself, to express yourself the way in which you want to, means that you're far less able to be controlled by the media, by messaging, by whatever the world is trying to control us in terms of the way in which we're thinking. If we think freely, if we express ourselves in a way that means that we don't give a shit about what people think of us, then we're no longer able to be controlled. Because when the world tells me that... I'm fat, so I shouldn't wear a bikini or go into the water in my swim, in my um, in my underwear, or actually, you know, sit down on a log. So, like, if you watch my body right now, like, it's a bit of my crutch, but you know, like, there's nothing pretty about about how I'm sitting. There's nothing. Uh, there's nothing here. Me trying to uh, hide my fat rolls or my stomach, which I would have done in the past, particularly in a bikini. But if I don't give a shit then I'm not, I'm not playing by the rules of the game, right? Because the rules of the game are telling me that I'm meant to hate my body. The rules of the game are telling me not to express myself. The rules of the game are telling me that, that I should hate myself and hate my body. Wouldn't you agree that there are rules in this world and in this game that suggest that we ought to not like ourselves, we ought to conform, we ought to look like everybody else and try desperately in order to fit in? So it's dangerous to express yourself. It's rebellious to love yourself. And you know what? To not hate your body is damn right defiant. And I wish these things for you. I wish these things for you because when you uh, allow yourself the freedom to not give a shit about the rules of society, like there's nobody on this beach that's going to come stop me and say, excuse me, ma'am, you're too fat for that bikini. And even if they did say, ma'am, you're too fat for that bikini, I would say, I don't care. Like, we live in a world where we're able to. Like, if I'm fat in my bikini and I'm comfortable in it, maybe people will be offended, maybe people won't like it, but I don't care. 
And this is where freedom comes from. When we can get to a place where we care far less about what other people think of us. You know, like, would, would, would I think I'd look more banging if I was 10, 15 kilos lighter? Probably. Does it matter? <laughs> no, it just doesn't. Because what I'm doing is exactly the same thing. I'm sitting on a beach on a log after having just going for a swim. Does it make a difference what my body looks like in that process? Because my body doesn't know. My body just knows that I'm going for a swim. So I wish this for you in my Monday musings, my Monday rant for you today, that have the courage to express yourself. Have the courage to be dangerous. Have the courage to, to not give a shit about what other people think of you. And when I say courage, it also takes a crap ton of pay patience. Yeah, that was coming out of me. Patience and practice. The first time that I, you know went onto the beach in a bikini or in my swimwear I didn't feel very comfortable about it no way man I was like oh I'm really conscious are people looking at me do they you know are they worried about what I look like blah 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 and now I just like take my kid off and don't really give a shit and I'm you know I'm the biggest I've been in a long time it's not like I'm even like in the greatest shape of my life and now I feel amazing 15 kilos heavier no my big gut's hanging out, i got hairy armpits, my, my legs are hairy, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm just me, doing me, and, and nobody gives a shit, <laughs> that's the thing, and people who do give a shit, well, do you give a shit about their opinions? Freedom comes when you allow yourself the courage to be dangerously self-acceptant, when you become dangerously self-acceptant, nobody can stop you and you can't be controlled anymore. Not controlled by the media that tells me I need to look a certain way. I'm not controlled by a government who tells me I'm meant to be in fear. I'm not controlled by a society that tells me that they'd prefer me to hate my body so I should cover up and be ashamed. No, I'm not controlled by that. I'm controlled by my heart. I'm controlled by the universe. I'm, I'm, and and control isn't even the right word. I'm led. I'm led by the universe. I'm led by my heart and led by my soul. And this, my friends, I wish for you because you don't need to be controlled by the forces that tell you to be less, to be small, to be nothing. Be led by your heart. Be led by your soul and live the life that is the truest and most authentic for you. It takes courage. It takes practice. It takes patience. But the more that you get out there and do it, the less bucks you're going to give and the happier that you'll be. My wish for you my big wish for you yeah which is exactly part of the things i'm going to teach in the self-love awakening collective that's coming up what a week on thursday so we've got a week and a half uh enrollments are still open so if you're looking to like have some of this <laughs> like have some of this like level of confidence of not caring of how did i get to this point whereby i can be fat on a beach and not give a shit and there'll be people saying you're not fat you're beautiful you know what i'm fat and beautiful i'm fat and fantastic i'm fat and amazing why the hell can't i be fat and friggin gorgeous because i am that's the reality my beautiful fat body and i took ourselves off and went for a swim fat and fantastic those two things that does not mean that i'm shit fat just means that that's what my body is and i don't care anymore if you want to get some of this action let me know, send me a PM, DM, however you contact me. Send me an email, loveyourself at moreconfidence.com.au and uh, let's jam because you deserve this for yourself. Peace out, my friends. Peace out. <laughs>